everyone, I'm Ms. Abahar at Abahar and All, and today I'm going to show you how to organize your bookmark bar on Google Chrome. The first thing that you want to do when you begin organizing your bookmark bar, you want to delete any bookmarks that you no longer use. So all of the bookmarks that you have saved that refer back to classes that you used last year, you wanna get rid of those because most likely you aren't gonna use them anymore unless they're actual programs that carry over things like Achieve and Alex or your Gmail account. You wanna keep things like that. To delete a bookmark, you want to hover over the bookmark that you wanna delete, right click and then scroll down and hit delete and poof, it disappears. Don't forget that if you have lots of bookmarks and they don't all fit, on one screen, if you go right here to the two arrows on the right, all of the rest of your bookmarks are in that tab. So make sure that you delete any bookmarks that you no longer use also in that tab. The same way, just right click and then you can go ahead and delete and then it's gone. The next thing that you wanna do is you want to organize some of your bookmarks into folders. To do that, all you have to do is right click on the bookmark bar and add a folder. How you organize your folders is completely up to you. You can organize by teacher. Um, so any resources that is specific to science can all go into one science folder. Or you can organize it by type of bookmark, like if you want to separate all of your different programs. So you can make a programs folder and you could have Achieve, Alex, and all of the other types of programs that you use in that programs folder. But for now, I am just gonna go ahead and make a games folder. I noticed that lots of you all have tons of games saved in your bookmark. So might as well put them all into one folder. So Nitro Type is a game that I have on my bookmark bar. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it into my newly made games file. So it disappears from my bookmark bar and it is now in the games folder. Another thing that you guys should do is put all of the important stuff on this front bar in your view. So that way it's very easy to be able to access. So you should have things like your Aries, your Google Classroom, your Gmail account, stuff that you use very frequently should be the ones that are the most easy accessible. One last thing that I want to show you guys how to do, and it's probably the most important because all of us are using Zoom links now, and we all have a specific Zoom link for the year. So to start, you have to access all of those links. They are either in your email account or directly from your Aries account. Make sure you have access to all six. You're gonna bookmark one Zoom link at a time. So highlight that Zoom link, copy it, open a new tab and paste. Once you hit enter, it's going to want to open so you can join that meeting but we're not actually joining the meeting right now. We're just using it to make a bookmark. So go ahead and hit cancel. Now we want to add this bookmark to our bookmark bar. To do that, all you have to do is hit this star. Once you hit the star, it allows us to change the name on how we want it to appear. So this was for period one. So I am going to name it teacher's name and Zoom. Before I hit done, I want to make sure that it goes to the right place, right? For some reason, it's going to the games bar, the games folder, and I don't want it to go there. I want it to go directly to the bookmark bar. Still not going to hit done yet. Actually, we're going to go to more because I noticed that when we hit enter, it added a pound sign and the word success after the bookmark. So I want to delete that. So now it's just the plain URL that we originally went to. Then we're going to hit save. All new bookmarks go to the very end. So it's right there. If we click it, it goes directly to the page that we have to click and then enter into the Zoom meeting. Once again, we're going to hit cancel. So 
So now all that's left for you to do is make sure that these bookmarks are somewhere that you can easily access them. In this tab is not easily accessible. So I want you to grab that bookmark and put it on that main bookmark bar so it's always in view. Now, how you organize this is completely up to you. You can do that same exact technique for the rest of your classes, but and then it'll have six zoom buttons right here. To make that look a little bit cleaner, you could put them all into their own folder. So you can add a folder and you can name it Zoom Links, click Save, and it popped up right here. And then you can just go ahead and easily add all of your Zoom Links to that Zoom Links folder. So that way, when the time comes and you need to access your Zoom Links, all of your links are right there on the top of your bookmark bar and you won't have to go into Aries or go into your email account in order to look for them. So that way you can be on time and ready to learn. Thank you all for watching. I hope this helped.